For this exercise, we'll be working with the results of the query from the previous exercise. In the Result tab, double-click the Snooker World value in the Name field to enter Editing mode. Change the value to Title Caps. We'll need to update Terry Griffith's Snooker Club as well. If you click the ellipsis that appears when editing, you can do this via a text box, which is handy for longer field values. You can also batch update fields in Studio 3T. Right-click one of the values in the field you want to edit, then select Field, and then Edit Value Forward Slash Type. Select Int64 from the Type drop-down menu, then select Documents Matching Query Criteria from the second drop-down menu, and finally select the only Change Type option. Let's set a fallback value of 0. Click Set Value. A message box should confirm all 14 documents were updated. Click OK to close it. The FSA underscore ID column should now indicate the INT64 data type. Right click one of the values in the local authority field and select field again, then edit value forward slash type. Here we also want to select only documents matching query criteria, but we want to force the values by selecting the always change value option. Type Wales Snooker in the value text box. Click Set Value. Check the Result tab to confirm that all 14 documents were updated correctly. Now keep the Welsh Pubs collection open with the results in place for the next exercise.